I saw everyone attacking Israel and came against us and fought against us. The IDF will hold them off for two days. Then everyone will just kill us and we won't have anyone to help but God. And then, suddenly... Wait, wait. This war, the IDF will hold for only two days? Two days. And after two days? We'll be finished by then. No IDF? No IDF. So everything is open? Everything is open. So when you say that Gog is Obama, Obama is the United States, you say that he will lead the... He will lead the whole war. And who will join him? Who will join him? Iran will join him. The UN. The whole UN. Russia? Yes, Russia. South Korea. The whole UN. Really, everyone. Everyone. All 70 nations will rise against us. For now, what I also saw is that the Mount of Olives next to Jerusalem, for those who are saved, that mountain will split in two. And when the mountain splits that very second, the Messiah will be revealed to everyone. Everyone will just see that it's the Messiah. We will know it's the Messiah. Here he is, revealed to everyone. He will stand at the entrance of the Mount of Olives, and he will say who can enter and who cannot enter. Anyone who is not saved will stay outside and die and anyone who is worthy will be saved. You have to know what he will be saved from. So the mountain just opens, and also... Now it opens, it opens? It splits in two. Something like... No, no. An earthquake? No. A nuclear bomb? What? No, they will rise up. You know how on the Mount of Olives there are graves, right? So two of the dead people will walk out. Two dead people will come back to life. One from here and one from there. It will split in two. That's how it will happen. And what I saw is that the Messiah is someone who can't sin. Someone with no sin. Someone who never sinned. He is someone who repented? Yes, he never sinned. He had never committed any sins. He is without sin. He didn't commit even one sin. It can't be that the Messiah is someone who sinned the messiah he will fight against obama and not only that he will kill him and bury him in israel and i saw that yes he will be buried in israel and i saw that when the mount of olives split in two then messiah will stand at the opening but he won't care who is religious who has a beard who a person is he sees a person's holiness he will smell each person he will smell if someone is holy if he is pure if he did good deeds if he is kind to see if he has true fear of heaven and not just afraid of punishment and things like that. He won't say, here you are, you have a hat, you can go in. It's not like that. He will have power to feel what is truly inside every person. Look at what he is saying and look, he says that Gog is Obama and that Gog, Obama, will fall here in Israel and God will give Obama a grave here in Israel here in Israel. So Ezekiel the prophet says, on that day I will give Gog a burial place in Israel. That's exactly what they said to me. Exactly. Ezekiel. Exactly the same thing. And you say that the Mount of Olives will split. The Mount of Olives will split in two. So Zechariah the prophet says, then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations, and his feet shall stand in that day on the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof. Is that really what is written? Yes. Zechariah the prophet. That's exactly what I saw. Zechariah the prophet, he was a long time ago. That is exactly what will happen if things stay as they are. If the world keeps on like this, that is what will happen. I just want to read here. I just want to read a verse. Here, let's look at this verse. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear, but it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord, not day nor night. At evening time it shall be light. What you are saying, there will be 24 hours of light and then the holy temple. The holy temple will fall from the sky. Just come down with that light that I told you about. It will descend from the sky. After that, resurrection of the dead? That will be several weeks later. Two weeks. But at this point of the dream, I was given the opportunity uh, to see kind of from the, um, the heavens looking down on the earth. And what I saw was that I was able to see it, the globe was kind of out here like this. And I was able to see very clearly many cemeteries and graveyards. Then I was brought very close to many of these graveyards. And what I saw was a very unusual thing to me was that the ground was breaking open. Literally, the dirt was breaking open kind of violently and people were coming out of the graves. Um, I'll tell you that as a Catholic, I prayed many, many times that uh, I believed in the resurrection of the dead. But I, I don't really believe at that point in, in the dream especially that I was persuaded that that would actually happen. I know now that that's what I saw. I saw dead people resurrected from the graves. 
You just see someone with a body, a person who's not happy, not angry, not anything, just normal. You see a person, his grave just opens. He comes out of the grave, he comes out like that, starts walking, that's it. What is he wearing? He is wearing beautiful clothing. Burial shrouds? No, these are beautiful clothes. The condition that they came out was very unusual. And uh, the, the other thing that was unusual was that uh, one cemetery plot uh, headstone would have a person come out of the dirt and one next to it would not. There, it seemed to be uh, uh, a kind of a, a not, not just random, but kind of a categorized uh, launching, so to speak, of these people out of the dirt. Those who are worthy of being in the resurrection, they will only be the worthy ones who were in the Garden of Eden. The evil ones in hell will not be worthy of getting out of there. Again, it was very violent. It was almost um, as though the, the, the dirt was receiving a small explosion or something and breaking open. And I literally saw dirt flying. And I saw this all over the globe. It wasn't just in one area. It wasn't just in, say, the United States. It was all over. And when people would begin to come out, their appearance, uh, two things about their appearance first astounded me. The first thing was that the clothes they were wearing uh, seemed to be like a choir robe. Uh, they they uh, were kind of like a long dress, so to speak, uh, a cloak almost hanging off them. Uh, but in the middle of the day, uh, it was like uh, uh, those outfits that entertainers wear when they're under the lights and the lights, uh, you know, key in on them and the sequins kind of make the light just shoot off and they glimmer. These people came out in the middle of the day glimmering. Their outfits and their person was brighter than the sun. We will be able to see them from a distance, but we won't be allowed to get close to them. Why? Because they will be holy. You can get burnt by them because they are so holy, like if you get close. I, I, I wish I could explain that to you other than I could see the brightness of these people coming out. Men, um, although they had these robes on, appeared to be very, very masculine. Uh, you know, I always used to think that, you know, those robes I had to wear when I graduated from school kind of looked kind of feminine, you know. But these things that these people were wearing were masculine, and yet when women were resurrected, uh, they looked very feminine. Older people would come out with the appearance that they were old, but they weren't old. They, you could tell that they had lived a full life, uh, maybe, you know, 80 years, 75 years, something like that. But uh, say, for instance, their hair that was lost was, gone, was back again. Um, they looked mature, but they didn't look aged. Okay? Young people. I saw a lot of young, young people resurrected. And uh, although they looked very young, they, 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 they weren't very young. They, there was a maturity about them. I, I wish, again, I could clearly define how this appeared uh, during the dream. All of a sudden, the people that came out, uh, they, they, just, they just disappeared. I wish I could tell you where I saw them go. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if they were taken and hidden somewhere. I don't know if they were taken in the clouds because I never saw them go up. I never saw them go away. They just vanished. A whole person and wearing beautiful clothes. Yes. And everything looks normal. Normal. And he knows what was going on in the world above. He knows he was dead and is now in the resurrection of the dead. Yes. And he knows he remembers what was going on up there. He remembers everything. He remembers that he was up there and then he goes home. Yes. As soon as these people uh, disappeared, for a lack of words, wherever they went, mass hysteria began to hit the earth. Uh, people had the appearance of absolute despair, um, hysteria, there was pandemonium everywhere, there was mass chaos, lawlessness and fearless, or fear was working everywhere. Uh, I was able again to see in many quadrants of the earth and there wasn't any one nation that was under this, all of the globe was experiencing this. What will happen one certain day, it will just erupt. Something will set off and it will just erupt. All of the news channels, everything. Everyone will say, World War III has started. Everyone will just know. That's it. There is no time. And everyone will know that God has caused this event. Uh, as the mass pandemonium and despair began to permeate society, there was uh, a very unusual event that happened. Television, uh, telephone, radio, and this other unusual communication device I was able to see into many, many homes in the United States, these white boxes that were about this big that looked to be like televisions. And were, when I saw these, they were in nearly every single home in the U.S. 
and uh, they would have words written across them, and occasionally it would almost look as though television was playing through them. All of those uh, media devices were shut down for about a two-week period. I know now that what I was seeing was personal computers in people's homes. All these things were shut down. Uh, one of the things that was happening during this uh, hysteria was many, many peoples were asking, where did these people go? What happened? And all the globe saw this event, uh, or they experienced it afterwards. What I saw in people was that literally nearly everyone I experienced had a great, great look of despair and hopelessness upon their face. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? 